my name is Helen Oyabola. I'm a supervisor as well as the Equity, Inclusion and Diversity Champion Chair for the Department of Lab Medicine and Pathology and Mayo Collaborative Service. Thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Myra and she'll be answering a few questions about her role and experience at Mayo. Myra, please go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Myra Lee. I am a quality assurance assistant uh, at Superior Drive and Specimen Operations. Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, so we'll get started with our first question here. So what are some of your favorite things to do in your role? Um, so our quality's main responsibility is basically to get samples to the lab and resolve issues that come up with samples. So um, a lot of people on the floor come to me with questions. And what I really like is being the go-to person. So if someone has a question, usually it's a lead and they can't figure out the answer, they'll bring it to QA and we try to find the answer to get that sample to the lab and test it in a timely manner. Um, other duties that QA does is metrics. So we write up a lot of, uh, we call them quality events. Um, so any issues that happen, um, we document that and um, try to improve our process based on the different events that are going on in specimen operations. So it's fun playing with Excel. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very exciting. Um, so, why do you choose to work at Mayo Clinic? Um, well, the benefits. <laughs> Honestly, they have good benefits, the pension plan. Um, I think a better question is, uh, why did I choose to stay? <laughs> All right, go ahead and um, share that. Yep. <laughs> I, I like Mayo a lot. Um, I like how big they are. I mean, there's pros and cons to that, but um, because they're such a big organization, there's a lot of areas of opportunity, um, even like within specimen operations, you know, I started off as a lab assistant, I became a lead, and then I be, uh, went to education, and now I'm in quality. So in the span of six years, I've worked in, what is that, four, five different departments. So it, it's, it's a lot of fun, always doing new things almost every year. So that does sound yeah. very exciting. And you have like a lot of experience under your belt. So uh, my next follow up question is, um, how does the work you do make a difference for Mayo patients? Um, again, I work with specimens. So um, basically the patient is in the vial um, and getting those test results in in a timely manner um, is very important to the patient. Um, depending on the test, it's more important than others. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, especially when because in quality, again, we work with issues. So if there's a time sensitive sample um, and there's an issue, let's just say uh, the client didn't fill out the paperwork properly, um, QA will figure out a way to send that sample on for testing um, before that sample expires. It sounds like you have a lot of, um, um, I guess different points, you coordinating with a client as well as the, the lab sort of thing. So you interact with a lot of different people. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, how does working at Mayo then compare to any other jobs you've had? I know you mentioned you've had several jobs around the Mayo Clinic, but have you ever worked in a company that's not Mayo? Um, I started Mayo when I was 19. So my job experience is really limited. Um, I had a paper out. And uh, I worked at hy V, and then, oh, I also worked at McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I guess um, one thing I like about Mayo, I'm not sure how many other, other companies do it, but uh, I really like how it's like such a big, it's hard to manage such a big corporation. So it's nice that they have like all these surveys, um, you know, 360 reviews and um, all these other things to like kind of help improve Mayo as a whole. Um, also having like these, and you said you were part of the diversity and, uh, inclusion. And inclusion. Yep. 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 And then they have also like the, what do you call it? Well, wellness champion, well-being yep. champion. Yes, um, yes. I, and pre COVID, I think it was like, what was that? 2020, 2019. I was part of the community giving, um, yes, yes. 
all that stuff is a lot of fun. Um, being able to coordinate all that stuff, getting people involved. That's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so. Yeah. Well, I think your example that kind of segues into our next question. So can you share a story of how Mayo Clinic has provided you with a sense of belonging? Um, yeah, um, when the weather's nice in SDSC, um, I don't even, I don't even know who coordinates them. I just see the emails on it, but <laughs> there's always like these outside activities and like, I love going to those, um, buying pastries, playing games and stuff. That, those are always so much fun. And then my favorite is when they bring in the puppies Oh, <laughs> like almost every year and it's, it's the best. Like who doesn't like puppies, man? <laughs> yeah, that is that is a pretty cool thing. I, I know a lot of people get a lot of joy from that. Yeah. Um, so where do you see yourself in the future at Mayo Clinic? Um hmm, I'm not really sure. I kind of just go with the flow. Uh, <laughs> uh I, I, because as I said earlier, like I've been from like different positions, a lot of different positions within um, specimen operations and um, maybe eventually I'll leave specimen operations to kind of pursue other things to like, I don't know, um, just explore more. Like I said, Mayo is so big. So it's like, there's so many like different areas to explore. Um, uh, but the only hard thing about that would be uh, I already have like so much knowledge about that area and I don't want that to go to waste. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like um, right now, my sister currently is working, um, what is, she reads ECGs, um, talks about her job a lot. And I think that'd be kind of interesting working with patients. Cause right now I just, um, I work in a lab so I don't work directly with patients or anything. So um, I think that'd be an interesting experience to kind of explore other avenues. Yeah, that is true. Mayo is huge and there are so many different opportunities and so many different areas that you have the ability to pretty much leverage all the skills you've acquired so far and utilize them somewhere else mm -hmm. um, when you have the opportunity. So thank you for that answer, uh, Myra. So is there anything else you'd like to tell our audience about the Mayo Clinic? If you know what you want to do, Mayo probably has it. If you don't know what you want to do, apply at Mayo and you'll probably find it. Because me, oh, there's yeah, <laughs> really good advice. Go ahead, go ahead. Because um, uh, yeah, because Mayo is just like a land of opportunity. <laughs> it's the American dream. <laughs> and you're right. You have been in so many different areas, so definitely you have that um, experience and are able to kind of speak to being able to fluidly move from one mm -hmm. one uh, job role to another. So, well, thank you so much for sharing your experiences and your your role with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you.